some females in the population are perfectly faithful to their partners. Other females might have as many as three different fathers for their uh, seeds. The female has to sneak because if she doesn't sneak, the male will become aware of the fact that he's been cuckolded and he might retaliate. Uh, in some bird species, um, the males withhold care, for example. So male swans play a really important part in incubation. They do about half of all of the warming of the eggs. So a male that's cuckolded might decide to you know, contribute less or leave more of the burden of egg incubation to the female. What we're trying to find out is, what is what's in it for both, both of the birds that participate. Now for males it's fairly easy to see, they manage to pass on their genes um, and they father a lot more offspring. For the females, given that there are risks and potential costs involved, it's less clear what they would get out of this. But we think that one possibility is that they might get better quality genes for their offspring. And the idea is that um, these micro-readers have antennae, they sit on the female's back, and when a male comes very close to a female, so close in fact that they have to be copulating, the reader detects the male's identity and, and records his um, copulation. So what we do is we, we fit these readers onto female swans, they carry them for about a month or two before they start laying their eggs. And once the female's laid a clutch, we recapture her, we take off the unit, we spit out a month's worth of um, information and we see then you know, all of the different times at which she's mated with the male and which male she's mated with. So what I'm going to do now is measure the length of the head and bill. And so what we can do in the study is look at females that have been involved in, in matings with other males and compare some of the, the traits that their partner male carries, how large he is, how many curled wing feathers he has, you know, how, how well adorned he is uh, with the male that she's selected as a, as a partner outside of the pair bond. People have a huge amount of affection for swans and they think they understand swans very well and people are always telling me anecdotes about swans. Um, and this study is about trying to shatter some of the, the myths that exist about really familiar animals. And I always find it amazing that you know we probably know more about the, the surface of the moon than we do about iconic animals that are in our everyday environment like the swans. And so what we're trying to do is just to, to show people the different side to these animals that are really familiar and that they know really well.